Well, Marshall, they're honoring LaDainian Tomlinson here tonight at Taste of the Cove. You were a recipient a couple of years ago. Do you have a favorite LT moment, whether it was watching him play or as a colleague now on the NFL Network? Uh, definitely as a colleague now because, um, you know, you, you, you play football and, and everything that we've ever done in our lives, we've been super, super confident about, um, super comfortable with. And then you, you come work in television and there's just um, an uncomfortableness. And, and I just remember when LT first started, just kind of where he was and, and how things were, and uh, and and to now see that he's gotten uh, he's gotten his legs up under him. He's developed a style, and uh, he's he's really doing great work at the network. And it's always fun when he and I get to work together. We really play off one another. So uh, just just watching him kind of kind of give his opinion and have his voice heard, so people know that he's not he wasn't just a player. He's really educated about the game of football. Great transition because you talked about the pressure that he had when he got here. Then it was Ryan Matthews. Never, it was really tough to, tough to follow in those, in those footsteps. What do you like about Melvin Gordon? What type of player do you think he can be? You know, obviously college was college, and, 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 and he did an amazing job at Wisconsin. And, you know, they, they, they're they just a factory for running the football. And it's just going to be interesting to see how that game translates to the NFL. I believe, you know, when you when you look at the numbers, um, his measurables are, are, are the ones that says, He's, he should be a great in our game. Um, it, it obviously comes down to the offensive line, but I think Mike McCoy does a great job at at use, utilizing his talent, putting guys in the right space and the right place to make plays. And I think that I think that Melvin's going to not just be a great addition, but um, he's going to carry the torch that Ladanian uh, left here. And that obviously Ryan Matthews tried to carry further. I'm not going to say that he's going to have the production that Ladanian had here, but I think that people are going to be satisfied with the running back position for some years to come. My last thing, our San Diego State Aztecs just opened up a phenomenal basketball facility. What will it take to get the football team for the same attention? I will tell people that I don't know that it's been the same since, since you were in school and since there was so much hype for what you and your accomplishments. Um, it would take for um, the powers to be, uh, that being the, the, the administration and the people with the money, to, uh, to, uh, to want to put a football stadium on campus similar to the basketball stadium, similar to uh, th this new basketball facility. Um, basketball has done a great job. Baseball has done a great job. They all get to play on campus. We don't get to play on campus in football, and that would be a great addition to the campus at San Diego State. And I think it's the one thing that could really, um, I'm not going to say turn the program around because it's been turned around already. I think it'll take it to the next level that we want to see it get to. All right.